The testimony of truth, the law versus the truth. Now, I shall speak to those who understand how to listen with spiritual ears and not with their physical ones. For many have sought for the truth, but have not been able to find it because the old leaven of the Pharisees and the scribes of the law has overcome them by leaven is meant desire for the error of the angels, demons, and stars. As for the Pharisees and scribes, they belong to the archons who have authority over them. For no one living under the law is able to lift his gaze to the truth, for they cannot serve two masters. For the law's defilement is clear, but undefilement belongs to the light. The law commands one to take a husband or take a wife and to produce children to multiply like the sand of the sea. But passion, which is their delight, controls the souls of those who are begotten down here. Those who defile and are defiled in return so that the law might be fulfilled by them. They show that they are helping the world and turning away from the light. For them, it will be impossible to pass by the archons of darkness until they have paid the last cent. The Descent of the Son of Humanity The Son of Humanity came forth from an imperishable realm as one who was a stranger to defilement. He came to the world upon the Jordan River, and the Jordan immediately turned back. John bore witness to Jesus' descent, for it is he who saw the power that came down upon the Jordan River. He realized that the dominion of carnal procreation had come to an end. By the Jordan River is meant the function of the body, its sensual pleasures. The water of the Jordan is the desire for sexual intercourse. By John is meant the ruler of the womb. This is what the Son of Humanity reveals to us. It is proper for you to receive the word of truth, assuming one will receive it completely. As for one who is in ignorance, it is scarcely possible for him to diminish the works of darkness that he has done. On the other hand, those who have come to know imperishability have become capable of combating passions. I said to you, do not build or accumulate things for yourselves where robbers break in, but bring forth fruit to the Father. True versus false confession. Foolish people have it in their minds that if they simply make the confession, we are Christians in words, but not with power and ignorantly give themselves up to a human death, they will live, but they are in error and do not know where they are going or who Christ really is. Instead, they are hastening toward the principalities and the authorities. They fall into their clutches because of the ignorance that is in them. For if only words of testimony were effective for salvation, the whole world would hold out for this and be saved. But it is in this way that they have drawn error to themselves. They do not know that they will destroy themselves. If God really wanted a human sacrifice, he would be conceited. 
The son of humanity clothed himself with their first fruits and went down to Hades. There he performed many mighty deeds and raised the dead. And the world rulers of darkness became envious of him, for they did not find any sin in him. He also destroyed their works, affecting humanity by granting healing to the lame, the blind, the paralyzed, and the demon possessed. And he walked on the waters of the sea. For this reason, he destroyed his flesh by which he and he became salvation, his death, everyone. How numerous they are. They are blind guides like the disciples. They boarded the ship and at about four miles away, they saw Jesus walking on the sea. These people are hollow martyrs who bear witness only to themselves. In fact, they are sick and cannot get themselves up. But when they are full of passion, this is their motivating idea. If we give ourselves up to death for the sake of the name, we will be saved. That is not the way things are. Rather, impelled by planetary forces, they say that they have completed their futile course. And they say, but these, they have given themselves up to death. His and his, they are like and are not in possession of the life-giving word. There is no physical resurrection. Some say, on the last day, we will certainly rise again in the resurrection. But they do not know what they are saying. For the last day is when those who are Christ, the earth, which is When the time was ripe, he destroyed their archon of darkness, souls. He took his stand. They asked what they had been bound with and how they might get themselves loose. They came to know themselves, who they are or where they are now and where it is they might find respite from their ignorance and attain knowledge. It is these people Christ will bring to heaven since they have renounced ignorance and advanced to knowledge. And those who have knowledge, the great, the spiritual resurrection. He has come to know the son of humanity. That is, he has come to know himself. This is the perfect life that people come to know themselves through the all. Therefore, do not look for the carnal resurrection, which is destruction. Those who go astray by expecting a resurrection that is empty are not stripped of the flesh. They do not know the power of God, nor do they understand the interpretation of the scriptures owing to their duplicity of mind. The life-giving word of the Son of Humanity. The mystery that the Son of Humanity taught in order that destroy the Son of Humanity, who, written book, for they have blessed within them and they live before God under the light yoke. Those who do not have the life giving word in their hearts will die in their thoughts. They are apparent to the son of humanity in terms of their actions 
and their error. Those of this type, they, he divides the, and they do not understand that it is from him, that the son of humanity is coming. If they come to sacrifice, they die a human death and they give themselves up a death. Those who, they are many, each one pervert, gain their minds. But those who will receive him to themselves with uprightness and power and every knowledge are the ones whom he will bring to heaven to eternal life. Sensual pleasures must be renounced. But as for those who receive him to themselves with ignorance, the defiled pleasures prevail over them. It is these people who say, God created genitalia for our use, for us to grow in defilement in order to enjoy ourselves. So they cause God to become an accomplice in actions of this kind. They are not steady upon earth, nor will they reach heaven, but place will for unquenchable fire, which is born again by the word. Word. Upon the Jordan River, when he came to John at the time he was baptized, the Holy Spirit came down upon him as a dove, except for ourselves that he was born of a virgin and assumed flesh. He dwelt with us and received power. Were we also born from a virginal union or conceived by the word? Rather, we have been born again by the word. So let us strengthen ourselves as virgins among male. They dwell the virgin through in the word, but the word of and spirit is the father for the man. The martyrdom of Isaiah signifies divisions. Like Isaiah, who was sawed with a saw and became two, so too the son of humanity divides us by the word of the cross, dividing the day from the night the light from the darkness and the corruptible from incorruptibility. He also divides the males from the females. Isaiah symbolizes the body. The saw is the word of the son of humanity that separates us from the error of angels. Renunciation of the world. No one knows the God of truth except the person who forsakes all the things of this world and renounces the whole place, grasping the hem of his garment. Such a person has established himself with power and subdued desire within him in every way. He has made himself male and with self-examination has returned to himself in becoming the mind from his soul. He has existential questions. In what way the flesh which in what way out of it? And how many powers does he have? 
Who is it who hath bound him? Or who is it who will loosen him? What is the light? And what is darkness? Who is it who created the earth? And who is God? Who are the angels? What is soul? And what is spirit? Where is the voice? Who is it who speaks and who hears? Who is it who causes pain and who suffers? Who is it who has begotten the corruptible flesh? What is the order of things? Why are some people lame and some blind, some mute and some deaf? some rich and some poor? And why is it that some people are weak and some robbers? Neither, all things. As he again, fighting against thoughts of the archons, authorities and demons without giving them a place in which to settle. The Salvation of the Archetypal Gnostic. But he struggled against their passions. He condemned their error. He purified his soul from the transgressions that he had committed with an alien hand. He stood upright within himself. For it is possible for everyone to have death and life within themselves and to exist in the midst of both. When he had received power, he turned to the right side and entered into the truth. He left behind everything that pertains to the left and became filled with wisdom, counsel, understanding, insight, and eternal power. He broke open his bonds and condemned those who had formed everything. They did not find Leighton within him. He took himself by the hand and began to understand himself and to speak with his intellect, which is the father of truth. He spoke about the unbegotten aeons and about the virgin who brought forth the light. He thinks about the power that flows over everything and encompasses it. As a disciple of his male intellect, he began to maintain silence within himself until that day when he would become worthy to be received above. He rejects for himself verbosity and disputations. He endures all things and bears up under them. He puts up with all kinds of evil and is patient with everyone. He makes himself equal to everyone, yet separates himself from them. And if someone wants something, he brings it to him so that he might become perfect and holy since he is a virgin, grasps him, having bound him upon. And he became filled with wisdom and bore witness to the truth. He will receive his power and go up to an imperishable realm, the place where he originated, leaving behind the world, which resembles the night and those in it who cause the stars to revolve. The true testimony. This, therefore, is the true testimony. When a person comes to know himself and God, who is over the truth, that person will be saved and crowned with the unfading crown. John and Elizabeth, Christ and Mary. John was begotten by the word through a woman, Elizabeth, 
And Christ was begotten by the word through a virgin, Mary. What is the meaning of this mystery? John was begotten through a womb worn with age. But Christ passed through a virgin's womb. When she had conceived, she gave birth to the Savior, and they found that she was still a virgin. Why then do you go astray by not seeking after the interpretation of these mysteries, which were prefigured for our sake? Midrash on the biblical snake. It is written in the law about this. God commanded Adam, from every tree you may eat, but from the tree that is in the middle of paradise, do not eat. For on the day that you eat from it, you will certainly die. But the snake was wiser than all the other animals in paradise. And he persuaded Eve by saying, On the day that you eat from the tree that is in the middle of paradise, the eyes of your mind will be opened. Eve obeyed. She stretched out her hand, took from the tree, and ate. She also gave some fruit to her husband, who was with her. Immediately, they realized that they were naked. They took some fig leaves and put them on as aprons. But at evening time, God came along, walking in the middle of paradise. When Adam saw him, he went into hiding. And God said, Adam, where are you? He answered, I have come under the fig tree. At that very moment, God realized that he had eaten from the tree about which he had commanded him, don't eat from it. And God said, who is it who instructed you? Adam answered, the woman you gave me. And the woman said, it is the snake who instructed me. He cursed the snake and called him devil. And God said, look, Adam has become like one of us that he knows evil and good. Then he said, let's throw him out of paradise so he doesn't take from the tree of life, eat and live forever. What kind of a God is this? First, he begrudged Adam's eating from the tree of knowledge. Second, he said, Adam, where are you? God does not have foreknowledge. Otherwise, wouldn't he have known from the beginning? He has certainly shown himself to be a malicious grudger. And what kind of a God is this? Great is the blindness of those who read such things, and they don't know him. He said, I am the jealous God. I will bring the sins of the fathers upon the children up to three and four generations. He also said, I will make their heart thick and I will cause their minds to become blind that they might not understand or comprehend the things that are said. But these are things he says to those who believe in him and worship him. In another place, Moses writes, he made the devil into a snake for those whom he possesses as his offspring. Also, in the book called Exodus, it is written thus, he contended against the magicians. When the place was full of snakes as a result of their wickedness, the rod in Moses' hand became a snake and swallowed the magician's snakes. Again, it is written, he made a snake of bronze and hung it on a pole, which and for the one who will gaze upon this bronze snake will escape destruction. 
and the one who will believe in this bronze snake will be saved. For this is Christ. Those who have believed in him have received life. Those who did not believe will die. Right and wrong faith. What then is this faith? They do not serve. And you do not understand Christ spiritually when you say we believe in Christ. The generation of Adam. For this is the way Moses writes in every book. The book of the generation of Adam is written for those who are in the generation of Adam. They follow the law and they obey it. And heretical leaders and their schools. The Akdot, which is the eighth. And that we might receive redemption in that place. They do not know what redemption is. Instead, they enter into misfortune and into a. In death in the waters. This is the baptism of death, which they observe. Come to death. And this is according to. He completed the course of Valentius. He himself speaks about the Agdo and his disciples resemble the disciples of Valentinus. They, for their part, are in error and abandon the good. They also advocate worship of the idols. He has spoken many words and written many books, words. They are revealed for what they are by the confusion in which they exist through the deception of the world. For that is where they wind up together with their empty knowledge. Isidore also, his son, was like Basilides. He too wrote much, And he, but he did not, this, his disciples too, blind, but he gave them pleasures. They do not agree with each other, for the Simonians get married and produce children, but the Ands abstain from their nature to passion. The drops of smear themselves. We, they agree with each other. Him, they say, there is no judgment for these because of them, the heretics, Schisms with the males are men. They will belong to the world rulers of darkness of the world. They have the archons power. Judge them. But the ends words speak they will become in unquenchable fire they are punished the generation of the son of humanity but those who are from the generation of the son of humanity have in all the activities But it is difficult to find and to find one out of a thousand and two out of ten thousand. For the Savior said to his disciples, one in. 
and he has great wisdom and prudence and intelligence and understanding and knowledge and power and truth. And he has some from above. The place where the son of humanity, power, guard against, he knows, he comprehends, and the all worthy of him, true, alien, but physician, misfortune in, he received baptism, and those who, in a dream, silver, but are rich among the authorities, but the 60th, thus, world, but they, gold. They think we have been released from the flesh, but not turned to Jesus, but the beginning, a son whom they out of, which is the type light. Those who derive from an unpolluted realm, who, that they might, not blaspheming them not, nor is there any pleasure or desire or anything that controls them. It is fitting that they should be undefiled, that they might show to everyone that they are from the generation of the son of humanity, since it is about them that the Savior bore witness. The generation of Adam. But those who are from the descendants of Adam are revealed by their actions and by their work. They have not ceased from evil desire, but some dogs, the angels, for dogs which are begotten will come with their move as they on the day when they will bring forth children. Not only that, they have sexual intercourse while they are still nursing. But others are caught up in the death of they are pulled every which way and find delight in unrighteous mammon. They lend money at interest and spend their time doing nothing. But he who is the father of mammon is also the father of sexual intercourse. Gnostic Renunciation the person who is able to renounce these things shows that he belongs to the generation of the son of humanity and has power to accuse him. He is not controlled in these regions by from wickedness and he makes the outside like the inside. He is like an angel that power said them. But one, and having withdrawn, he became silent, resisting verbosity and disputations. The person who has found the life-giving word and has come to know the father of truth has found repose. He has ceased seeking, having found, and when he found, he became silent. He would speak few words to those who, in their intellectual hearts, true versus false baptism. 
There are some who, upon entering the faith, receive baptism on the ground that they have that as a hope of salvation. They call it the seal, not realizing that the fathers of the world are manifest there. But he, for his part, knows that he is sealed. For the son of humanity did not baptize any of his disciples. As for those who are baptized, if they were headed for life, the world would be emptied. But the fathers of baptism were defiled. But the baptism of truth is something else. It is by renunciation of the world that it is found. But those who say only with their mouths that they are renouncing it are lying. And they will wind up in the terrible place where they will also be treated with contempt. Just as those to whom it was given are condemned, they shall get something. They are habitually wicked in their actions consorting with demons. Some of them fall into idol worship. Others have demons living with them, as did David, the king. It is he who laid the foundation of Jerusalem and his son Solomon, whom he fathered in adultery, is the one who built Jerusalem. He did it with the help Of the demons, because he got their power. When he finished building, he imprisoned the demons in the temple and put them into seven water jugs. They stayed there a long time, left in the water jugs. When the Romans went up to Jerusalem, they discovered the water jugs, and right away the demons ran out of the water jugs like people escaping from prison. The water jugs remained pure after that. And since those days, they live with people who are in ignorance and have remained on earth. The Mysteries of David and Solomon Who then is David and who is Solomon? And what is the foundation? And what is the wall that surrounds Jerusalem? Who are the demons? And what are the water jugs? Who are the Romans? These are mysteries. The victories of the son of humanity's disciple. Victorious over the son of humanity undefiled, and he, whenever he, for, is a great to this nature, which those who, all in a blessed, and they, like a salamander, it goes into a very hot oven blazing with fire, and it slithers into the furnace, the furnace, ovens, for that they might see, and the power, sacrifice. Great is the sacrifice, one, but in a, and the son of humanity, and he has been revealed Through the immortal bubbling fountain, he is pure, he is free. He is not envious, he is separated from everyone, from every kind of impudence and ill will, whose power is great. He is a disciple, form of law, these only. Those who are under the law. 
They placed him under a, a teaching, his teaching saying, even if an angel comes from heaven and preaches to you, contrary to what we preach to you, may he be cursed. They do not let the, of the soul, freedom, for they are still immature. They are not able to observe the law that works through these heresies, though it is not they, but really the powers of Sabaoth through the doctrines as they have been jealous of some law in Christ. The Gnostics go, but those who will have the power will pass by all of the bodies and the 12 judge them. The immortal fountain is good the whole place, the enemies. He baptizes himself and the, he became divine and flew up and they did not grasp him, the enemies, since it was not possible for them to bring him down again. If any grabs him in ignorance, Attending to those who teach in the corners with clever props and artful tricks, they will not be able.